Welcome back, dear listeners. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling Tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode, The Beast of Grafton, is brought to you by Dandy Boy Apples. Apples so good, they never go bad. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's Dandy Boy Apples. Fresh, delicious, and dandy every time. Pick up a box today. Our tale begins in the rural hills near Grafton, where locals have reported a strange creature lurking in the woods. Robbie Cockrell and Peggy Mansfield were out on a date, celebrating Peggy's birthday. A full moon loomed large as they drove. Robbie, you're going too fast. Don't worry. This nuclear roadster handles like a dream. Where are you taking me anyway? I told you, it's a birthday surprise. Way out here in the woods? There's nothing this far out of Grafton, except that hospital by the river. Wait, I bet we're going to that new drive-in over in Clarksburg, right? Just so you can show off your slick new hot rod. Ah, come on. Don't be like that, Peggy. I just thought the drive-in would be romantic. Oh, Robbie. Robbie, look out! Are you okay? Peggy? Yeah. I'm okay, I think. What happened? There was a huge boulder in the middle of the road. I, I tried to warn you, but it was too late. But look, in the road, there's nothing there. How could that be? I saw it plain as day in the headlights. And just look at the front end. It smashed right in. I mean, it, it didn't just get up and walk away. What was that? Probably just a wolf. It didn't sound like a wolf to me. There it is again! Whatever it is, it sounds like it's coming this way! Look! Those lights by the river. That must be the hospital. We can get help there. Come on. Ow! My foot! I think I heard it in the accident! Look, I'm bleeding! Everything's going to be okay. Uh, here, lean against me. Uh, there you go. Uh, see? You're doing great. Just like when we won that three-legged race in the park. We're almost to the hospital. Oh, no. There it is. I see it. Coming out of the wood. It's bigger than a bear. And look, it has no head. It's just... Flesh and muscle and claws. Robbie, it wasn't a boulder we hit. It was that thing. It's okay. We're here. We made it. Door's locked. Hello? Anyone in there? Help us. I'm I. What's going on? Who are you? Please, doctor. There's been an accident. My girlfriend's injured. There's something after us. A monster in the woods. Oh, a monster, you say? I know. It sounds crazy, but I hit it with my car and... Ah, uh -huh, I see. Uh, it's just you two? Yes, it's just us. Oh, won't you help us, doctor, please? Of course we'll take care of you, my dear. Uh, do come in. Come in. See, I told you everything was going to be okay, Peggy. Doctor, are you going to call the police about the thing outside? Well, all in good time, son. First, let's have a look at the girl's foot. <laughs> Lie down on this table. Is it bad, Doctor? Nothing we can't fix right up. 
I think a little shot should do the trick. Ow! What's that shot for? I told you. To fix her. Doctor, my arm's starting to tingle. Is that normal? Oh, yes. Quite normal. Ow! It's really burning now. Hold still, my dear. Hey, why are you strapping her down like that? Just follow him. In the hallway! It's the monster! Actually, that's an entirely different subject. She's been much more agreeable than the escaped one you encountered earlier on the road. These monsters are, are yours? Why, of course, though monster is a gross mischaracterization of the extraordinary advancements in evolution we've achieved here. My whole body's burning! Evolution? I don't understand. Oh, you will, my boy. <laughs> you both will. Who are those men with guns? What is this place? Hey, let go of me! Ah! What's happening? I feel so strange. Robbie? Tonight's gruesome tale taught us several things. You can't always trust a good Samaritan. Be cautious when driving through the woods near Grafton. And birthday wishes don't always come true. Be sure to tune in next week for another thrilling chapter of Tales from the West Virginia Hills. (laughs) 